tell me more about the art of makeup, which is self-expression, yes. liberation, yes, it is. Uh, celebrating your individuality, and it's all these things that your brand today stands for. Yes. How important is that for you? What is, is makeup for you? It is. It is so much more. As you say, it's just for every person to stand out and to express yourself. I think we are now in a, in a time that everyone can be heard and be shown the way they are and they don't have to be afraid and they don't have to hide, you know? And makeup sometimes gives them that confidence they can do that. And I have goosebumps. It's like so important. It's for many, many people, also for me, it's like giving you so much more in life. In a world of social media where sometimes we tend to celebrate what's hip, trending, more than we celebrate messages, important messages, quality, um, how important were these factors for you uh, when you first started your brand? I think it's about balancing all of these. I think the most importantly is to, when I started the, the brand, was always thinking to bring professional makeup into the everyday life and that it will be easy to use. So I imagine these everyday women, they want to be their own makeup artists. Yeah. So they uh, can just express themselves for every day. Mm -hmm. And they have to find, you know when I prepare uh, and design eyeshadow palette, it is always about thinking which type of woman will want to wear this, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I imagine makeup firstly to be uh, expressing your personality and what fits you. You as a and person. Celebrating your differences as well. Oh, that's for sure. Mm. Everyone, it's indiv individual. It's super individual. Like what is good for her won't be good for her for the other maybe. So it's really to understand. Go always for what you are in makeup, and then the trends and the other fun stuff is not bad at all. Yeah. No, it's for fun. Yeah. But the basics are firstly finding something that is you. Can you tell us a little bit more about the, the palettes yes. uh, and why they are such a big success? Um, what contributes to their success? Is it because it's of a great quality? Art? Yes. And I, yes. honestly, looking at the at the palettes, I can see that they can match every skin tone. It is. Uh, they're yes. not directed towards a specific yes. ethnicity, and they can even though they can, can be, be like kind of everything, kind of like yeah. It Blush, is about eyeshadow, eyeliner. I can see that. Yeah, it's like Which a multi-use product. Is uh, this is the Metropolis, Metropolis palette, one. and Metropolis palette is a limited edition palette. Yeah. It's an anniversary yeah. palette because I've launched five years ago yeah. the large 28s, yeah. yeah. and this is a mini version of uh, the 28 eyeshadow palette with new shades. And you can kind of use it for the eyebrows. Oh yeah, if I have that. That's I would true. use it for the eyebrows as you can as a blush, maybe as a you lipstick. Can. For and everything. As a highlighter. As a highlighter for everything. Yes, yes. actually you can. Um, so the palettes are, uh, I mean, a palette is a project. It is always very logical and very wearable. And the pigmentation in brightness is not too much. Yep. It is always wearable. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're not walking around like a, you know, like a clown. Yep. Never. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my job to make sure that these products can be fun and wearable at the same time. You always will look elegant. Between the 70s, the 80s and the 90s, working with top photographers, top models, celebrities, how much did that impact your uh, personality, your, your technique? Oh, okay. So first of all, uh, my technique, it all comes from there. This is the base. For, if I wouldn't have done all of these things, I wouldn't have had the knowledge in the lab today. Mm. Everything I know and I'm doing in the lab is based on all of this, what I've done before. It's always when people ask me, new makeup artists, they want to start their career. What is your tip? You just learn all the time, absorb, absorb everything you do. Not only in the makeup world, everything, anything it could be that gives you inspiration, motivation, 
and ideas, you know. Education and makeup is so important because uh, nowadays, especially, I mean, before YouTube, before internet, we we like, you know, people were depending on makeup artists or, you know, like these uh, kind people working yeah. for brands, yeah. but they're representatives. But today it's much easier because you have the internet and you can just Google it. But it might be very not individual and not customized. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel that education is still missing and uh, like proper education, yeah. like real answers for every single person. I have drooped eyes, how do I deal with that? I mean, you can hardly see a YouTuber that has drooped <laughs> eyes, you know what I mean? I mean, I love them and they do a great job and it's amazing what they're doing. But for the everyday people that don't look like a YouTuber, or like a model, or like a, I don't know. So uh, they need answers. So I feel there is still what to do and to work on.